Don't miss a story. Get San Jose Spotlight headlines delivered to your inbox. The San Jose Sharks SAP Center lease with the city is expiring next year, and the terms will be changing, opening the door for negotiations with both parties. Next year the city, which owns the arena, can hike the Sharks rent annually, and Sharks sports and entertainment leaders are hinting at a desire for the city to help pay for upgrades in lease talks. The 30-year-old downtown Shark Tank is one of the NHL's oldest arenas. Mayor Matt Mahan was tight-lipped at about what those talks will entail at a Thursday forum on the future of downtown, but vowed to keep the team happy. At the same event, team officials made a promise of $1.25 billion in economic benefits to San Jose over the next five years. When it comes to economic development, we work with the city. We trust the city, Sharks Senior Vice President of Government Affairs Chris Shea said at the annual Carabina meeting, a downtown improvement talk hosted by the Urban Vibrancy Institute. We are going to be releasing an economic impact study that uses the city's version, the city's rules associated with this, because nobody wants to put out a number that can't be supported. He called the $1.25 billion estimate conservative. This $1.25 billion impact over five years on the city of San Jose strips out every dollar from anybody in San Jose that spends any money in the Shark Tank or Taxi U Arena, an expansion of Shark's ice, because of the fact they can spend it elsewhere. And we encourage them to spend it elsewhere, Shea said. Sports clubs seeking taxpayer investments into arenas and stadiums often promise economic benefits. Sports subsidies watchdogs have scrutinized that promise, questioning how much these venues actually recoup the public's investment. A 2023 economic report commissioned by the San Francisco 49ers emphasizes the financial return of such facilities. Levi's Stadium in Santa Clara has generated a $2 billion economic impact for the region in the last decade. The report attributed it not just to football games, but to nearly 1,000 special or corporate events, as well as concerts with marquee names in music. Shea likewise touted a lengthy list of artists that have taken the stage at SAP Center, namely powerhouse Latin music acts like Bad Bunny, who have generated significant revenue for the city. Sharks officials say the arena has brought an annual 1.5 million visitors, and a total of 50 million, since SAP Center opened in September 1993. They argue that's translated to a tourism boon, 25,000 overnight guests annually. Shea referenced other NHL arenas a few years older than SAP Center that have either been upgraded or are in the process, such as the Washington Capitals Capital One Arena in Washington, D.C., built in 1997, and the Carolina Hurricanes PNC Arena in Raleigh, North Carolina, built in 1999.